Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to Edge 3D CGI. And in this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and create the shaders and add the shaders for our cartoon house. So as you can see, I added this little roof on and I actually just opened up the model that I created before we started the tutorial series. So it might look a little bit different than yours does. So what we're gonna go ahead and do today is we're gonna go ahead and dive into the hyper shade inside Maya that manages our shaders and materials. So let's go ahead and go to window and then go to rendering editors and then go to hypershade. You should have a window like this pop up. So basically if you never opened up hypershade before, as you can see there are some materials in here. There's our Lambert material that is currently applied to a house. And to keep this very simple, we're not going to dive into all the different shaders and mental ray shaders and so on. You're just going to go ahead and create some Lambert materials, change the color of them, apply it to a house just to create some simple different colored shaders. And then we'll go ahead and in the next part of the tutorial, we'll create um, some simple lighting setup and the rendering to create a simple render. So if you're looking for some complex shaders and so on, we're not going to dive into any of them, but we'll go ahead and get a basic overview of what the hyper shade is. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is, as you can see, we only got this Lambert material and this other one, and we got some different stuff here that we shouldn't worry about. So let's go ahead and to create a new Lambert shader, we'll just go ahead and click the Lambert here. And as you can see, it will go ahead and create a new shader that's called Lambert 9 or whatever it is, Lambert. And we're gonna come up here and just gonna go ahead and rename this to be, I don't know, we'll go ahead and rename this to be our brown color. And here, and as you can see in the attribute editor, we got loads of different settings for our current shader. So you can go ahead and also open this up. So if you get rid of this, you can go ahead and bring the attributes back up by double clicking your material in the hypershade window and as you can see it will bring back all the attributes we're not going to go and dive into any of these in this beginner tutorial so we're just going to go ahead and vary about the color for this we're going to go ahead and bring up our color by clicking on that little box and as you can see your little color swatch will pop up and you can go ahead and pick whatever color you want to create for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to go into too much um, details about this or pick the perfect color. Let's we'll go ahead and pick this brownie color. And once we have that, as you can see, our shader is created. We need to go ahead and select the parts of the house that we want to apply this shader to. So once we go ahead and let's say I want to go ahead and select this brownie color, it's actually a pretty ugly color. But I'll go ahead and select my house or the part of the house that I want to apply the shader to. And then we can, there are different ways of applying the shader. We can go ahead and right click in our material window and then go to assign material to selection. Or we can also do it by selecting our shape again, right click on the shape and then go to assign favorite material or existing material. And as you can see, there's gonna be a brown shader that we created. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a couple of different shaders and I'm not going to show you the whole process of applying the shaders because it's a very simple. So I'm going to go back to my um, window where I create the shaders and create a new shader again by clicking on a Lambert window. Rename this to be, I don't know, roof tiles. And then again, just go to the color history or the color swatch tab and then pick the color that you want to go ahead and apply as your shader. So I want that to be my shader. And again, for these roof tiles, instead of selecting them one by one, you can go ahead and go into your outliner and find the actual parts that you need, which will probably be, if I select one, as you can see, I will select the group so now I'll just go ahead and select that group and it would help if you actually use proper naming conventions but for the sake of the tutorial uh, I didn't rename any of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the roof tiles and one of them is this group and the other one is that group. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of them. 
And then once I have both of them selected again, I'm just going to right click assign material to selection. Okay. So once you created all your shaders and apply them to each of the different parts, you can come back and check out the next part of the tutorial. We'll go ahead and create a simple lighting setup and render this house out. So thanks for watching H3D CGI and I'll see you guys in the next part.